Welcome to another RSR. Tonight I'm reviewing CS Saint Laurent nil, Toronto FC 3 in the 2024 Canadian Championship quarterfinal leg one. Toronto FC wins 3 0 on the night. Three away goals. They make sure this tie is done and dusted by the end of the night. There was absolutely no answers. Well, I wouldn't say that. CS Saint Laurent actually played well. Better than Simcoe did, actually. Still 3-0 win, which is pretty good. We'll see what happens in the second leg. That's probably when they'll go for their record. Their goal-scoring record of wins. Biggest win ever. But Toronto first half could have scored two goals. Saint Laurent. Could have scored multiple goals as well. It ends nil-nil. Toronto didn't have the finishing touch. Malula shoots one into space, puts one way wide. A couple of chances that they really could have finished in the muck of the center of the box. They didn't. Saint Laurent had some good chances as well. First half, I wouldn't say it was even, but Saint Laurent hit them on the counter. Could have hit them on the counter a couple of times. It was a very interesting match as the first 45 went on. Hell, even the second 45. But CS Saint Laurent definitely wanted to make a point on the night that they could fight, they could win, they could try. And they almost did. I mean, they almost did. They defended their home field well. The pitch wasn't great. It was a high school pitch. But, and not like a Texas high school pitch. I mean, like... Middle of nowhere. High school people don't care about going to games for pitch. Wasn't great. Was very narrow. But Toronto still got the job done. I think they, it took a little bit for them to get used to it. CS Saint Laurent tried to put everything into this match. They wanted to make their fans happy. I don't think the performance will be as good in the second leg. But the first leg, they tried to put on a show. And honestly, they put on a tough showing wasn't a great show. They still lost. But they put on a good showing to say, hey, we're here. We're going to fight. We want to make a point. We, we weren't even supposed to be here, and we're here. So let's show the world. But in the second half, it ends. Matty Longstaff gets the ball passed to him. He goes top bins in the 50th minute to make it nil one for Toronto FC. Matty Longstaff with 2-2. Two and two. DeAndre Kerr scores his first of the season. As well, off the post and in. Beautiful shot by DeAndre Kerr. Nil two for Toronto FC. Then the 77th minute, Federico Bernadeschi stands over a free kick. Sees the keeper off his line. Says, I'm just going to lob this over your head. Into the short side. Absolute beautiful curler. Golasso. Nil three in the 77th minute. Bernadeschi with his third in two games. Arguably fourth. And you love to see it. You really do. Beautiful goal. Full time. It's nil three for Toronto FC. Easy as you like. I mean, two goals in two games for Longstaff. Three and two for Bernadeschi. Kerr gets his first of the season. People who, I would say, needed to get goals to keep pushing on their momentum, got them. And Kerr needed to find one for him. He got it. Good play. Good play in this series so far from those three. And that's exactly what this team needed was those three goals. Great goals, too. Amazing. Full-time stats, 16 shots to 20, 6 shots on goal to 7, 34% possession to 66% possession, 310 passes to 617, 77% pass accuracy to 88, 9 fouls to 11, 0 offside to 4, 1 yellow card to 0, 0 red cards to 0, 6 corners to 6, Again, for me, Toronto FC were the better team. They should have won this game 4-5-0. The fact that they didn't is a little bit disappointing, but the fact that they put chances on that if they had finished, they would have won 5-0, I'm okay with that. In the macro, I'm okay with that. This was, wasn't was a shellacking, but it was a tough win. They grinded it out. They got the result they needed. Three away goals pretty much puts this tie to bed already. But we'll see what they do in the second leg. If this tie doesn't end 6-0 on aggregate at least, or 6-1, I don't know. I'm not going to be happy with it. 
I said 10 before the game. I think that was a little bit too harsh on CS Saint Laurent. But TFC should easily have this aggregate high, like untouchably high, by the end of two weeks from now in Toronto. They should, or one week and six days away from now in Toronto. But they should have it done. I mean, it's over now, but let's see how much they add. But CS Saint Laurent put on a tough performance. I have to give them props. I really do, because Toronto did their job more or less, did their job. Yeah, they could have finished better in the first half, but they still did their job. CS Saint Laurent, I got to give them props. I have to give them props. They played a game that nobody expected them to play. Expect them to play or host. Nobody expected to see Toronto at a high school pitch. Not me. There's been big enough teams in the Canadian Championship forever that it's like, ah, you know, they're going to play some, somewhere worth a damn. This was the first time where I was like, oh, this is really an open cup now. This is really a domestic cup now. And I'm like, yeah, this is weird, but it's cool, you know. And I'm sitting here like, Saint Laurent brought out so many fans. Their fans were there behind them. They played a tough match. They put their hearts on the line. I'm not going to question the situation. Toronto did what they had to do. Saint Laurent scared Toronto FC. They legitimately made me worry that this game was definitely going to go off the rails. Whether that was a loss or just a nil-nil draw, they made me worry. They're a tough side. They got good things coming for them. That's what I got to say. So I'll give all my respect to C.S. Saint Laurent. They played a very good game of football. And it sucks that they're going to lose to Toronto over aggregate. But damn it, they busted their ass to try to make this game be a living hell. So, I got to give it to them. That's an amazing performance from CS Saint Laurent. It isn't a win, but for their situation, the fact they're a League One Quebec side, a PLSQ side, they got a result that honestly may be better than what you would have expected from a team like them. Could be worse. Way worse. If you are CS Saint Laurent. It could be way worse. And Toronto, they did their job. They could have done better. They should have done better. But in the end, I'll take a 3-0 any day of the week on a pitch like that in a situation like this. 3 nils really good. They fought for it, which is a good thing. But that's five straight wins for Toronto. All comps. You love to see it. And they are doing what they got to do. Very likely will be going to the semifinals of the Canadian Championship. We don't know who they'll play out of the other three winners. That'll be a draw later on closer to the time. And we'll recap or re-predict that as it goes. Be funny if my Final Four was the actual Final Four and the way those ties went were actually the way it got drawn. But then I guess it would still stand, maybe, depending on what happens. But with that being said... Player of the game, man of the match for me, I got to go Federico Bernadeschi. He only played 30 minutes, and that man legitimately was like, hey, you know what? I'm going to try to score two or three goals. He hit one off the post. He legitimately burnt them to crisp. He should have scored another goal, frankly. Like, he wowed me. I know he's Federico Bernadeschi. I get it. I get it. But he had the best performance. Like, he wanted to score more than one goal. He wanted to rip them to shreds, and he almost did. So I'm giving it to Bernadeschi. 30 minutes. Less than, and he damn near burned him to shreds. Hey, you love to see it, though. With that being said, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell your friends. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification one. Subscribe. Send super chats on the live streams. Comment on this video. But it's a playlist. Share with friends and family. All that great stuff. I will see you within the hour or as soon as this is up, I'm probably going to be live for Seattle Sounders versus Louisville City in the U.S. Open Cup. It's just a live stream. I will not be reviewing that match. Once it's over, we're done for the night. But there you go. I'll be live for that as well. And let's hope the USL Championship owns MLS. Let's hope. With that being said, I'll see you later. I'm Ryan and I'm out. Peace. Let's go. You love to see it.